Right now I'm in one of Massachusetts' biggest cranberry bogs and they have just a couple hours to harvest all of these cranberries. Up first, it's time to check out the dry field before it gets flooded. A lot of people don't realize cranberries don't grow in water. Next, they flood the fields and then use a water picker with a spinning reel to hit all the berries off the vines. And you can see the fruit floating up in the reel. Once the field has been fully picked, it's time to get in the water and try to get these berries onto a truck as fast as possible. We call this a suction box. So the goal of this is to get it just below the surface of the berries. Yep. Oh, there it goes. To increase efficiency, the team will encircle the cranberries using huge belts to pull them into the machine. You grab a big pile of fruit, you pull it all the way to the box. The cranberries get a quick rinse and they're loaded into a truck which will haul them off to the ocean spray receiving plant where trucks from all over the region are waiting to offload. The massive trucks are tilted backwards and the cranberries are sent into the system to be turned into craisins, juice, and of course, cranberry sauce.